from the News Talk ZB Newsroom. This is News Fix. In this update, there are reports of a huge explosion at a military base in Iraq with Iranian links. CNN reports the explosion occurred at a base belonging to Iraq's Iranian-backed Popular Mobilisation Forces south of the capital Baghdad. An Iraqi security source told CNN it happened at an ammunition depot. A man working underground on Auckland's $1.2 billion wastewater pipe has been rescued after being trapped by a steel pole. Fire and emergency say that the person was trapped under the pole approximately 6 to 7 metres down a hole. He is in a serious condition. A witness at the site in Sandringham says a crane was used to lift the man who was lying on a stretcher along with a medic. Court has adjourned in Donald Trump's criminal trial in New York following a man setting himself on fire in a park outside the courthouse. The former US president is facing 34 charges for allegedly trying to cover up hush money payment to adult entertainer Stormy Daniels before the 2016 election. He is in critical condition after dousing himself in a flammable liquid before setting himself alike. CNN's Mark Morales says the man was throwing pamphlets around containing a range of conspiracy theories. It wasn't too much longer before local police officers and other court officers, even passersby, came by to snuff that flame out. But he's been taken to a local hospital. Australia's health ministers are teaming up across states and territories, ramping up calls for a vape ban. They're urging the federal government to pass new laws which would criminalise the sale and production of e-cigarettes and stop another generation getting hooked on nicotine. Australian Health Minister Mark Butler says they want to regulate vapes back to their original purpose. Which is a therapeutic good. If that's what it's supposed to be, then it should be regulated like a therapeutic good available only on prescription through a pharmacy. That's news. In sport, young Kiwi supercars driver Matt Payne has been fastest in qualifying for the top 10 shootout ahead of this afternoon's 60 lap race at Topor Motorport Park. Payne was fastest by just 94 thousandths of a second in tricky conditions, which included a sprinkling of rain. Fellow Kiwis Ryan Wood and Andre Heimgartner also made up the top 10 shootout, which is just underway. Just a third of a second covered the top 10 drivers in qualifying. Black Caps bowler Matt Henry has had a, six, a successful reintroduction to the Indian Premier League. Eight years after playing his only two matches in the league, Henry has opened the bowling for the Lucknow Super Giants in an emphatic eight-wicket home win over the Chennai Super Kings. Russian Ravindra suffered a first ball duck for Chennai. That's sport. I'm Sandy Hodge. For more news, listen to News Talk ZB live on iHeartRadio.